Hi guys, Robo46 here, working yourselves back to MotoGP24 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode. We are off to uh, Portugal next for round two. Qatar, it was okay. We didn't quite um, hit our goal of getting inside the top five. We finished sixth. Uh, we did have a coming together with two riders who both crashed. Um, both went up the inside of me and uh, we all collided basically. But um, yeah, we are off to Portugal now. Let's see what we can do. And hopefully we can uh, beat Nepa because Nepa was one place ahead of me um, at the finish of Qatar. He was fifth, I was sixth. But um, he was quite far ahead. So let's see how uh, round two goes. Right, let's head out then and uh, see how we go. Preparing the bike and the rider is ready to get back on track. Okay. So. Oh, oh. Let's see what we can do qualifying wise. What I might do during the race is at some point, mainly during the corners, go down to power map in two for a little bit to see if we can um, save a bit of our rear tyre because we did run out of rear tyre in Qatar, which uh, was not ideal. We'll need power map and three for the, the straight sections. But for like coming through these corners, maybe we can uh, Put it down the power map into because I did just slide the rear a little bit there. Especially coming out of light. Yeah, the hairpins. But we're going to burn up the most tyre. This left hander here probably burn up a bit of rear tire on the the left hand side. Spun up a bit there. So you get just a few corners. I'll drop it down to uh, power map in two during the race. See what happens. The rear tyre, the soft rear tyre, is overheating a little bit on the right hand side. So, first lap 151 1, and a load of them have already done a better first sector. Right there. wide there as well. That's lost all my time. Will be a slightly faster lap, but not hugely.
That's definitely better at that final corner. Yeah, look at through that final corner, the right hand side is turning red on the tyre. A bit quicker. 50.5. Oh, front's gone. Okay, let's head back into the uh, the garage. Right, let's uh, chuck another soft tire in there. Go back okay, out. So, 1.1 ahead of everyone at the moment, but I know I can go quicker. Okay. Too wide there. That was better through there. No. Somehow we made time up there despite going wide. Okay, well, it's going to be quicker again, 49.9. If we can do maybe one more lap. Come on. A little bit quicker again. 49.7. So we are through, and my gap stayed 1.6. That's the biggest gap we've had in qualifying so far. So we're through 2Q2. But quite a big gap. 
see what happens in uh, this qualifying session. Go for another medium front. Should try a medium rear. Yeah. Okay, let's go straight out. Take the bike out of the pit. Okay, I've, why have I got my waterproofs on? Don't need my waterproofs on because it's dry at the moment. Oh. I mean, it's worth saying as well in Qatar I got caught out with two yellow flags as well when I was on my best lap so we didn't qualify particularly well for uh, Qatar so hopefully we can get a better position here Have it along so you're gonna get in the way. Yeah, I'm just gonna force them out of the way because they're on an out lap. Even though it has cost me a bit of time. So Joe Esteban is up next, and then Ricardo Rossi. Oh front nearly went. And Alonso's gonna get me back, that's annoying. Whoa, okay. I just have to chalk this out as a banking lap. Okay, try and get an Esteban's slipstream. So 50.3, as a banker lap, I guess that's okay. And a little bit wide, I always come back through, lovely. Not dropping Esteban at the moment. close enough to a uh, slipstream Ricardo Rossi. Okay, we're not even in the uh, 49s at the moment. For Asato, 49.4. Oh, oh, save that. Right, let's go back to a soft rear tyre. That'll give me a bit more grip. Oh, someone's just crashed. I think that was my teammate. So we're currently in third. 
We were with Alonso just a minute ago on track. Not close enough for slipstream this time. Stay with him. I really need him to be in front so I can use his slipstream, but I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. We're good in sectors 2 and 3. And we're staying in third at the moment. We're close to uh, oh, Colin Voyer's time. out in the green. Somehow my lap still stands. Come on. Much better run to the line. So we're very close to Furusato's time. Don't know if I've got it in me to make up that time though. So we are starting in second place, half a tenth of a second behind Furusato. But we are on the front row. Nice. Stefano Nepper in ninth place. Okay. Right, definitely a medium front. Medium rear. That the soft will not last. Ready for the start of the race, and the adrenaline's running high. There's only room for one thought in the riders' minds to make it to the finish line first. Okay, I'll keep an eye on power mapping as well. Hey, okay, we're away. For Asato, a blinding start. Not such a good start for me. 
We've lost one place. Right. Oh. I'm in power mapping two now already. Power map and three for this little straight. Got a feeling like Furusato is just gonna be able to pull away here. Not quite close enough to have a slipstream. Frosato has got track limits already though. Via has crashed. Not going in way too hot there. That's annoying. Rosato's got track limits again. I don't think I saw him go off track there. I'm pretty sure he was just clipping the curb. Sun's coming out. Someone else has crashed. Didn't see who that one was. I mean, if Furusato keeps clipping the uh, oh incident for Scott Ogden, warning. If he keeps getting track limits, and you know, he could end up with a, a long lap penalty. Is it there he's going off track? No, maybe he is. He's touching the grass, I think, through Craig James Corner. If he does that every lap, he's going to end up with a long lap penalty.
Because we need to try and keep him within our sights. Because if it goes over three seconds, his long lap penalty, he's still going to come out in front. Which obviously is not ideal. Just keep going. Oh, Ruaid has just crashed. For Asato again. Surely on this lap he's going to get his fifth and final warning. Elgardo's nearly two seconds behind me. Okay, he didn't get a warning that time. I mean, I'll be happy with a podium here. Prasato is nearly three seconds ahead, which is not where I wanted him to be. In terms of tyre, we're okay at the moment. Else's crash. Oh, I thought that was going to be for Asato. Munoff is out. There's been a lot of crashes in this race. I honestly think one more off track excursion, and that'll be for Asato doing a long lap penalty. Has he now adapted to not go out on the green? Elgardo track limits. Okay, there's been a few people crashing together. Someone had to drop a position. For Sato now four seconds up the road. His fastest lap it was quicker than my qualifying time. Please just go off track one more time, I dare you. on our toe my teammate has crashed. Where's Nepper? Okay, more racing incidents happening. There's a lot happening at the moment. It is quite distracting. Ogden is now out. Nepper or Tola. Not going to be many people finishing this race by the looks of that.
I think Furusato is going to get away with it, any. He? I don't think he's going to. He's like go wide. I don't think he's going to track extend anymore, annoyingly. Or annoyingly for me. Five seconds, he, even if he does on the final lap and then doesn't do his long lap, he'll still win. If he's still in the 49s, then we are, well, we're not going to catch him now. Suzuki's up to third now. Oh, I go a bit wide there. Oh god, they are catching quite quickly now. It's not been a good start to this lap for me. We shouldn't lose 0.9 of a second in three corners. Okay, well our tyre lasted a bit longer. But yeah. Not good the fact that Furusato won by like seven seconds. As the Moto 3 riders do their cool down lap. Let's take a look at the 49.3. No one else was in the 49s. Literally no one. Quite a few DNFs. Five DNFs. Esteban was two point. Oh, well, two minutes, eight seconds behind. Jeez. Okay. Well, at least we got on the podium. Okay, so second place, that moves me up to third place in the uh, the standings. And we have uh, 11 points over Nepa, who's joint on points with uh, Zuru, Tuza and Holgado. And we're up to second place in the team standings as well, but we are 12 points behind... We're in the park four, mate, where the top three finishers have just arrived. This guy may be a but little yeah, podium. disappointed not to have won, but it's a second place that will leave him feeling competitive. Going Could not live with Furusato's pace there. He got a great start as well. We lost one position off the start, which wasn't too bad. Right. Well, we definitely hit our objective there. Didn't go up very much. Ah, right, you have a new message. Well, Taylor, Mario 46 coming in second is a good result for the whole team. A little internal competition is healthy, and that's what this is. Fine. That's fine. Okay. So. Kota will be next. That's where we need to... It's all going to be nice and sunny. Um, yeah, that's where we need to finish ahead of Nepa in the standings. So that is fine. That is all fine. So we've gone from 6th up to 3rd. 
Even on Tola is happy. Got five development packs to go on at some point. So that is good. And I think at the moment, providing we can stay there, that should, uh, I think that's as many as we can maybe get. No transfer rumors at the moment. Right. Let's look at the overall standings for all three categories, starting with Moto3. It is Furusato, who actually moves up to first place um, on 45 points. Suzuki drops down to second, only four points behind. I'm then in third place, 15 points behind. I've moved up three positions. David Alonso moves down to fourth. Holgado up five positions to fifth. My teammate, Ortola, down at two places to ninth. Moto2. It is bizarre how uh, the points are working out here. It's like they've done a few more races than they actually have. Same with the MotoGP category at the moment. But yeah, Vietti is joint on points now with Manuel Gonzalez, who moves up 20 positions and is now on 50 points. It's like they're getting double points for, for the races. So I'm assuming Vietti didn't score in uh, Portugal. Arbolino's up to third, Ayagura down to fourth, and Chantra is down to fifth. You look at Artigas, he's up 23 positions. That is mad. Very, very strange. Yeah. Bizarre. Anyway, in the MotoGP, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the uh, the point system in MotoGP or Moto2 at the moment. But yeah, Brad Binder still leads the way, 99 points. Alex Marquez moves up eight positions. He's 24 behind in second. Jorge Martin up five places to third. Mark Marquez is staying in fourth, but he's joined on points with uh, Martin there. And Bagnaia drops down three positions to fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch, and look after yourselves. See you guys next time. See you!